Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm your girl Tammy, and today I'm gonna show you how to make my delicious dessert, guys. My delicious chocolate fudge Oreo poke cake, guys. This dessert is awesome, absolutely fabulous. So delicious, so sweet, and it's a perfect recipe for the holidays. And the cool thing about this recipe is, guys, is it's quick and easy. You heard me correctly, quick and easy. So, without further ado, let me tell you what I have here, and we are gonna jump right in and get started. All right, of course, we have our bowl, our baking pan, as well as some eggs, oil, water, and of course, our lovely chocolate fudge cake mix. You can always use chocolate cake mix, it's totally up to you. You could uh, use any preferred brand, doesn't matter. And all we have to do, guys, of course, is follow the instructions on the back of the box. And that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut into this bag, just like that empty the contents into the bowl, of course. <laughs> so how's everybody? Hopefully everybody's doing well. We're going to add our eggs, of course. So easy, it's like a dump and go type of situation. It's real easy. As well as our oil and our water. And of course, we are going to blend all of these contents together. And once we're done, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Alrighty. I can see all of my dry cake mix is literally sitting on the corner of my bowl, so I'm just gonna use my spatula my good old trusty handy DND spatula, and I'm just gonna get all the contents from the side of the bowl, give it a good mix before I turn the handheld mixer on again. And that's it. Yeah, guys, this dessert is so delicious, so decadent, so sweet, so chocolatey, so yummy. Mm, it's so easy to put together. You'll be done in no time, trust me. And that, my friend, is it. <laughs> of course, it's a non-stick uh, baking pan, but for reassurance, as you guys know me by now, I'm just gonna add some non-stick cooking spray just to assure that everything goes the way as planned and nothing gets sticked to the bottom of the pan, okay? All right. Gonna spray it really good. Mm-hmm. Right. And we are gonna take our batter and obviously just add it to our pan, just like this. Quick easy and simple and just give it a good pat <laughs> make sure we get all the air bubbles out and also it levels out the cake which is perfect and I'm gonna place it into my oven at 350 degrees allow it to bake and before we you know poke holes into it and do all that fancy stuff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna also allow the cake to cool for about, maybe I would say honestly, about 30 minutes before I do anything else. So anyway guys, with all of that being said, I'll be right back, continue watching. I baked the my chocolate fudge cake, that's done. I allowed it to cool for about 15, 20 minutes, so this is good to go. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my little poker right here and I'm gonna start poking holes into this cake, but, First, what we're gonna do is, we are gonna make some Oreo pudding, guys. Yes, I don't know if you guys seen this already, but it's out in stores, so you need to go grab it. It's Oreo pudding mix, guys. Just like banana pudding, well you have it in Oreos, cookies, and cream. Jello pudding. Got two boxes, as well as some Oreo cookies, even more chocolate, and some Cool Whip, 
of course, as well as some milk. I got my bowl and I got my cake that I already baked earlier, as you guys know. And so far it's been cooled for about 15, 20 minutes. So with all of that being said, we are gonna make our um, Oreo pudding first. And yes, we're gonna get started because I can't wait because like I said, I love, love, love dessert, guys. My favorite thing to eat is dessert. I love just about any dessert, guys, from creme brulee to freaking carrot cake to just about anything, to M&Ms and chocolate and Snickers and everything else. I love sweet stuff, okay? Yes, I'm guilty of that. <laughs> I'm gonna enter the Oreo um, pudding into this bowl. Just add it to the bowl, and the good thing about it is, guys, it has little chunks of Oreo cookies in there. Ah! <laughs> yes yes little chunky chunks of oreo bits and pieces this is gonna be great mm -hmm. all right and of course just like banana pudding when you're dealing with uh any type of pudding mixture you're gonna add two cups per one box of or of uh of pudding mix so two cups of milk to one box of pudding mix so because we've added two boxes we're going to add four cups of whole milk not soy milk because soy milk is not going to do good with this recipe or any type of jello pudding for that matter so you could do um whole milk if you can't get whole milk you can also do uh two percent milk yes guys so i am going to add this milk to this bowl mm-hmm Four cups of milk, like I said. Put it right here. And I am gonna get to whisking just as if I was making, guess what guys? Banana pudding. It's the same concept, only difference is you have Oreos in here. And ah, I can't wait guys. I'm gonna speed this up. <laughs> make, my, make my hands work like an electric mixer, right? And get this thing done. And of course, with this pudding, you just keep mixing until the consistency changes slightly and it becomes thickened. Keep stirring, keep stirring, stir, stir, stirring. Ah! <laughs> I feel the consistency changing because I kind of feel like the resistance in the um, whisk. I feel the resistance. Stop resisting. <laughs> So guys, what's up? How have you been doing? Hopefully you are in good spirits and you're smiling and you're happy and all of that good stuff. I don't care what's going on. Make sure you smile because even if you're going through a negative situation, everything is gonna be a-okay. Because you know why? Because you're strong. You are strong. All right, the consistency is definitely changing. <laughs> so excited. Alrighty, this is perfect. We don't want it to be too thick, okay? Because we want to add it to our poke cake, which is not yet poked, but it's gonna get there in a second. All right? And the reason why we want somewhat of a thick but yet liquidy, <laughs> thick but yet liquidy consistency is because when we poke the holes in the cake, we want the, um, the Oreo pudding to be able to seep down into those holes, okay? Yes. All right, guys. So using the back of a wooden spoon or something like what I got, you just start by poking holes in the cake. And that is it. I know you're like, oh, that worked for nothing. I'm messing up a beautiful cake by poking holes into it. No, trust me. This is one time that you are not going to regret messing this cake up. Trust me, because by the time we add that pudding, guys, it's gonna be oh so awesome and chocolatey and delicious. Chocolatey and delicious. <laughs> just poke it, just poke it, just poke it. Take all your anger out on the cake. Somebody pissed you off today? Perfect, come home and make a poke cake. And poke it. <laughs> poke it, poke it, poke it. Hocus pocus. Alrighty. Got a little cake right here, so guess what, I'm gonna eat it, why not, hey. Mm-hmm, chocolate cake is always delicious. All right, so this is what our cake looks like with the holes poked inside. And we are gonna take this lovely 
But first, guys, of course, I got to taste it. <laughs> I got to make sure the consistency is right. Yeah, right. I just want to be greedy. Why not? Mmm, mmm. Mmm, hmm. Hey, guys, I'll be honest with you. This Oreo Jello pudding is absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious, guys. Absolutely. I taste like the little cookie crumbles that's in there, and it's so good. All right. Using the back of my spatula, I'm just gonna press it into the holes. Make sure it gets all in there, all in the little crevices and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just take your time and work with it. Be patient. Get everything inside of the holes, guys. Let it seep on down. Let it go down to the second floor. Right now, it's sitting on the fourth floor, so let it get in there and go down to the second floor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Make sure every hole is filled with Oreo pudding. Just smooth it out. Mm -hmm. Make it look really nice and decadent. To me, this is like the perfect snack for not only the holidays, but just for, um, just in general, basically. Perfect snack. Not only for kids, but for adults as well. Just about anybody who's a chocolate lover, who can't get enough of, you know, chocolate, basically. Push it on in there, smooth it out, make it even. You know, that sort of stuff. <laughs> All right, that should be good enough. I got some more mixture left in here, and I'm just gonna set this aside because if anything, I would make, that's what I'd do. I'd probably put it in a nice little decorative cup along with some Oreos and make like a little, um, tr uh, a little trifle, and that would be a nice dessert. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna go for my Cool Whip. Cool Whip, guys. Some good old Cool Whip. Can't go wrong with Cool Whip. Mm -hmm, right here. And we are just gonna add it as a frosting layer. Just smooth it out. Take your time. If it gets somewhat incorporated with the pudding mix, that's okay. Totally okay. Guess what, they both taste good anyway. Mm -hmm. Just be patient and everything is gonna tie together wonderfully. <laughs> It's gonna tie together nicely. Just be patient. Add the cool whip and make this cake cool. Mm -hmm. Same type of motion that I'm doing, guys. You could do the same thing with a spatula with a spatula, a handy dandy spatula. You don't need a cake spatula to get it done. Just get it done. All you need is determination. <laughs> All righty. And to be honest, guys, how long did this take? Less than an hour. About, what, 20, 25 minutes to bake. A total of like 15 minutes to cool, right? So far, we're looking at like, what, 30 minutes, I guess? Approximation, about 30 minutes. And then this process right here, allowing it to cool, and then this process, another, what, 10 minutes? 
So you have less than an hour to put dessert together. And all you need is these basic, simple ingredients, and you can be good to go. I think the most costly thing here was honestly the Oreo cookies. Mm-hmm. Which I almost finished. You guys, <laughs> you guys almost didn't get a video. I almost like literally ate all of the Oreo cookies, both me and my daughter, because we love chocolate. And she's definitely an Oreo fanatic. So, hey, get back over here. So we almost ended up eating all of the Oreo cookies. Mm -hmm. That would not have went so good because guess what? You guys would not be watching this video right now. <laughs> You'd be watching a chocolate fudge cake, a chocolate, what is it? Uh, a chocolate fudge pudding cake without the Oreos. <laughs> all right guys, so I have some Oreo cookies. Now we could put it in a Ziploc bag, but I figure I just use my hands to crumble it and just make it happen basically, just like so. But if you don't want to do this, you can always put it in a Ziploc bag and get to beating and just bang, 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 and make it happen. But I am going to use my fingers because I don't feel like going through that. See guys, the whole row is almost done. <laughs> we got so excited with these Oreo cookies. We didn't know how to act. We really didn't. And the cool thing about it is you don't have to break it up into like microscopic pieces. You could just break it up into, just as I'm doing, and it will go perfectly. Perfectly. And of course, I'm gonna wash my hands after. So, or just basically lick my fingers, of course, as Oreo cookies. And I'm gonna add maybe about, let me see, probably one more. Now here's the thing, guys. After you've done this part, you could put it in the refrigerator for about, I would say maybe about 20 minutes to allow the whipped cream and the pudding and everything to set before cutting into it. I know, more waiting time, right? But like I said, at the end of the day, this dessert is gonna be like, you know, as far as preparation and everything, less than an hour. Alrighty, so as you can see, guys, this is what our delicious double fudge chocolate Oreo poke cake looks like. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, I need all my chocolate lovers out there right now to scream. <laughs> so yes, guys, the only thing left to do right now is I'm gonna place this delicious chocolate fudge Oreo poke cake in the fridge. And I'm gonna allow it to sit in there for about maybe about 15 to 20 minutes just so everything can set nicely. And I'm gonna cut into it, guys, a nice big fat slice. And I'm gonna taste it because of course it's gonna be taste test time. Yes, the most favorite part of the show, guys. Yes! So you guys will get to see what it looks like and also enjoy a taste with me. And I see you when I get back, guys. Yes. So I am back for a little intermission, of course. Yes. So the extra Jello pudding that I had left over, I took like a little bowl, a little ice cream bowl, right? And I placed it in the bowl. And guess what I'm gonna do? Mm -hmm. Take some Oreo cookies, and hey, we have dessert, right? How cool is that? How cute and how cool, yes. Yes, delicious looking. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And you have dessert, Oreo pudding or should I say Oreo Jello pudding? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely tasty and delicious. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'll be right back once the cake is cooled and everything and set, and I'll cut it and show you guys exactly what it looks like. But I just wanted to come and show you what you could do with the remaining Oreo um, Jello pudding. So I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this while I wait for my cake to finish. I see you in a bit, guys. As you can see, I am back. Yes, and look at how beautiful. This cake has been sitting in the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes, and I am ready to dig in, all right? So without further ado, let's get it. 
I can't wait, guys. This cake looks awesome. Mm -mm -mm. With all of the delicious Oreos on top. Look at how beautiful. This is gorgeous. So guys, it's that time. Look at how gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. You know I can't wait, right? Mmm, 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 this is so good. Mmm. Uh. Guys, I feel like I'm in chocolate heaven right now, honestly. Mmm. <laughs> the cake is a perfect consistency. I'm getting so many different textures because of course the cake is nice and moist. You have the pudding, which is like nice and creamy. You also have the whipped cream, which is just so light and fluffy. Plus the Oreos giving that texture. I mean, this cake is absolutely phenomenal. It is absolutely delicious, guys. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. Will I make this cake again? Of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. This cake, guys, is very comforting and soothing. Mm -hmm. This would make a really good dessert for the holidays. And get this, guys. It's not too sweet. It's just perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> anyway guys there you have it our oreo poke cake guys yes or should i say double fudge chocolate oreo poke cake guys mm, absolutely delicious i love it i love it i love it anyway guys as always thank you so much for tuning in Full recipe details, of course, you know where to get it, guys. It will be on Cooking with Tammy's Our Recipes. And until next time, guys, I have some cake to finish, okay? Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. <laughs>